Welcome to Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Cy Falls' Sedalia Ellis is so quick on the court. Her coach says even football coaches have said Sedalia could play free safety for any of their teams. Now that's quick, and Sedalia knows that's her biggest asset to the Lady Eagles. I'm probably one of the fastest on the court, and when you have speed, nobody can really usually stop me on the court, so that's my best attribute. That and passing the ball, making, getting open looks for my teammates. But Sedalia brings a lot more to the team. She can drive to the basket with either hand, is a great three-point shooter, and never panics. That's because Sedalia takes basketball very seriously, preparing for each game like a true champion. Eat, breathe, and sleep basketball is, you know, kind of what it is when you take it serious. And so that's what I do. I work out every day, practice, and then after practice, you work out too, so. Sedalia has been on the court since the young age of four. She grew up watching her dad play and coach. Then she discovered other benefits of playing the game. Actually, when I was younger, I always knew I wanted a scholarship. I was like, hey, this is something cool. So once I figured out that they actually had scholarships for basketball, that's when I started to pursue it. And I knew I had a God-given talent. So I was like, why not use it? And she's been putting that talent to great use ever since. My freshman year, I played JV. That was an accomplishment for me because I was a freshman. And then sophomore year, I moved up to varsity, and that year I got newcomer of the year. And that was, you know, it was just the honor to be on the team. And then junior year is when I really kind of spurred it. That's when I got um, de defensive player of the year. I got first team all district. I made an all tournament team, and then I made an all state team, making it to playoffs so far. And then this year, I got I broke a record record for most assists in the game with 15, so I hope to keep going from here because, you know, I still got time. There is definitely time for more record-breaking. Sedalia and the Lady Eagles are district champions, and they're headed to the playoffs. This year, they hope to advance farther than they did last year when they fell to North Shore in the semifinals. It was, it was crushing to me, even though I knew it wasn't my last year, but just when you want it so bad and you know that you can get it and how we kind of fell off at the last game, it was... It was like a devastating moment. Uh, it's a feeling I never want to feel again. But they did learn some valuable lessons from that loss. Yeah, we learned about preparation because we wasn't very prepared for that game. I mean, we was, but we had things going on before the game that took us out. So this year, I want to make sure before every game, anything that's going on, you just leave it behind because you don't want that feeling of knowing you can win but not being prepared so you didn't. Mentally, I'm just preparing myself for the adversity that might hit knowing how to uh, make sure I don't shut down in any of the games. Um, of course, physically, we're working out every day, going hard. Not to the point that we get hurt, but to the point that we're getting better every day. And uh, I pray every day. You know, that's a big part of me, and that's what I do. So keeping God first, and that's what's going to help us out, too. Sedalia is the team leader for group bonding sessions, some of which include Bible study. Faith is very important to her, which is why she chose to sign with a Christian university. My coach told me, he's like, there's a school called Liberty, they're looking into you. And I was like, Liberty? I don't, I don't even know where that is. And I went on to a camp and from there kind of got serious. I started to like the school. I did my research and that's how I found out about them. I kind of prayed on it. Well, I didn't kind of, I did pray on it. And that's where God was leading me. And as a Christian school is what's best for me and where I want to continue to pursue my athletic abilities. At Liberty, Sedalia will pursue physical therapy. She also plans to be a Special Olympics coach. Ever since elementary school, I've kind of liked hanging with the Special Ed kids, and I didn't even know about the Special Olympics till my stepmom started working there. And I was like, hey, that's something I might like to do since I always like working with the Special Ed students. And I just kind of feel like it's, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing to be able to want to go in that because I have a, um, a skill that they might not be able to use on a bigger scale than I can. And so I just want to help them pursue a, a big goal that they might have. While she is looking forward to starting a new chapter in her life, Sedalia admits it'll be hard to leave this close-knit group behind. Being with these teammates has been like a family. It's, you know, we love each other dearly, not just on the court, but off the court. We stay as one. That's how I think the on-court relationships are so well. 
But when I leave them, I know I'm going to cry because, you know, I've been with these girls for four and three years, and I've known some of them since elementary school and some of them since middle school, and it's going to be real different playing on the court without them. So getting to Austin and bringing home the state championship would be a perfect farewell for this team of girls who have worked together so hard for so long. I can't even really tell you what, I mean, it's, it would mean so much because we've been working so hard for the last two years to get there and I feel like we have the team to make it and so it's, it'll be a blessing and honoring and humble um, feeling. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Cynthia Nickerson.